sure. I'm going to tell you who sits atop the throne for Vikings backup quarterbacks all time and tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm spot on. These are my five, and you can give me yours. Number five, Wade Wilson. I'm sure Luke Braun already thinks that's criminally underrated because he loves Wade Wilson, who actually uh, kind of we'll turned see into, who else you say. Yeah. Turned into a decent starter, actually, after that. Yeah. Um, Gus Farratt in two Got, states. Gotta right? have Gus on the Gotta list. have Gus Farratt. Gus in 03 yeah. and 08. Uh, Jeff George, number three. Case Keenum, number two. Randall Cunningham, number that one. That feels like cheating. I was going to say, like, how do we do this? Because... Fran Tarkenton didn't start his first game. <laughs> yeah, it, Teddy Bridgewater well, other than comes that. in. He's the backup yeah. to Ponder <laughs> and right. Castle. Like, well, he's, 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 he's back up to Castle, not to Ponder. Ponder was a backup to McNabb. That's important. Not that like, he would make. Cunningham, I, think I guess know he wasn't brought in to be the starter on purpose. If you say I think we know what a backup is, then you can't put Randall Cunningham on your list. Cunningham Come was on, brought Sam. in as a veteran. These are all veteran. Yeah, he, he was like taken out of retirement. To, it would be like if we brought in Matt Ryan right now. You know who else was taken out of retirement? Brett Favre. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Cunning, but Cunningham was Jackson was not the anointed starter. <laughs> I mean, for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> who took all the ones? Who took all the reps with the ones in camp? Well, Brett Favre didn't show up to camp. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't on the team True. yet. That's my point. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to he you. Started those preseason games, though. <laughs> I get it with I, with Cunningham. I, I get it because, it, like, week one, there was no intention of ever playing him. But then Brad Johnson got hurt. Like he, he yeah. wouldn't have gone in. Now, from an unlikely standpoint, I think Keenum might be number one. Like oh, I, yeah. Keenum went 0 and 8 with the team. I didn't think he was great in training camp. And in fact, I thought, who was the other backup? I thought that their third string guy, Heineke, had he not kicked the door in, I thought he might be the guy. Am I getting yeah, that right? Everybody did. Yeah. Everybody did. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know who uh, Who else didn't start the when, when he showed up? Sam Bradford. He's number one on my list of backups. <laughs> Sorry, I can't handle this. I, I, I can't. <laughs> Too much gray. Too much gray. <laughs> Is, is there the nothing said for right intention? <laughs> is there nothing that what? To be said for intention. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's, that's my point. Stan is thwarting this. I think yeah, I have I'm the heated. exact same. I, I did no prep for this segment, and I'm heated. I have opinion. <laughs> He's riled up. Very Josh Dobbs of you. <laughs> Sam, I think I got the exact same. What was your? I got Wade Wilson five, Ferrat four, Jeff George three, Keenum two, Cunningham did, one. I got yeah. Dobbs and Webb did, honorable mentions. Do you? Did you? Do you? Did you? Did you come up with a list beforehand and do just happen to be the same? Oh, do you? Oh, you're gonna cry? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> gonna cry about you know what? Yeah, I do think Wade Wilson should be higher than Ferrat. He went to an NFC Championship game. All right. Uh, he had a I, whole whole case. Different Keenum era, play. bro. Different era. Uh, here's here's my here's, here's had my... a 99 yard touchdown though. That's one play in one on regular time. season game <laughs> on prime time though in front of the world. Farad, Farad he went back twice, to the bench. That, that adds to the legend. Farad did it in two different seasons. We got to get to Ron Johnson here too. Uh, oh, are we? Let's get his thoughts on backup quarterback. Let's yeah, get, yeah, let's get okay, Ron yeah. Johnson's thoughts on journeyman veteran backups. Um, Ron Johnson at three. Ron Johnson, host of the Ron Johnson Show, driving through the suburbs. Uh, Ron, we're debating great Vikings backups in history. Um, I don't know if you remember the Cunningham era with Moss and Carter '98, but there's some debate amongst you us between. Well, I mean, that was one year before he got to campus, right? So, I mean, they were probably that was probably. Were, were all you debate. alive in 1998? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Ron, do you have a do you have a favorite Vikings backup story of a QB that's come in and dominated? Um, hmm. I mean, honestly, I mean, I heard some of you guys talking about it. Uh, I will say, I mean, Case Keenum. Like, we, I don't think okay. there is a better story than Case Keenum. Uh, you know, even though they got shellacked in the NFC Championship game, he got them there. You know, the Minneapolis miracle happened because of him. 
so I would say that, like, I would say that was one of the, the, the best comeback, I guess, quarterbacks in my remembrance. Uh, Cause 1998 to like whatever, 2005, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't like a huge uh, Vikings follower other than like Randy Moss, Chris Carter, so on and so forth, but didn't really dive too much into the purple when I was on campus, uh, the university of Minnesota. Um, I, I, I almost had, I thought when you said backup, I was thinking comeback. Almost like in my mind, I heard the Chris Pratt joke about the greatest comeback story of all time. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to tell family show, one. Ron. Yeah, I know. So if, if you if you want to hear the joke, just Google Chris Pratt comeback story. Yeah, um, I know I know where you're going with that. <laughs> yeah, 